Hi, my name is Adam White, Director of Technical Marketing here at Beyond Trust. I wanted to take a few moments and talk through the integration between privileged remote access and password safe uh, and just show some examples of how sessions can be started and what the interaction between uh, the two solutions looks like um, and how really simple it is to utilize them in concert with one another. So if we take a look at, uh, at this server here, um, this is a jump client. Um, that jump client is a, a client that's installed on this remote device that's going to be facilitating this session via an outbound 443 connection back to the appliance. I am logged into the privileged remote access access console, the thick client in this case, also logged into the Beyond Trust appliance over outbound 443. And all I have to do is double click this line to start a session with this device. Um, this list that you see here has been provisioned for me by the administrator of the appliance so that I have you know, that list populated and I can see that particular device. And now I see a new tab populated here in the access console and I have the ability to work with this machine. So this device is in a, a logged off state right now, and I would have the ability to click the control alt delete dialog and bring up the Windows Gina in this case. Uh, and there's also a little uh, icon that you see here uh, with this uh, key. So this key would give me the ability to actually inject credentials. So um, the Gina was pulled up. If I knew the password, I would have the ability to type the password. Um, but what we have here is an environment that's controlled by password safe. And so I'm not walking around knowing credentials. I'm injecting credentials at the time that I need to utilize them uh, inside of a session in this case. And then password safe would rotate that credential once this session ends. So I click OK to log into this device. It's going to inject the credential and bring me into the Windows environment that um, that, that credential allows me access to. And now I have the ability to work directly with this system. If I go back to the home tab here, let's take a look at another example um, using a Linux server, for example. So this would give me the ability to do exactly the same thing. I'll choose uh, Linux 01 in this case. Again, double click this line. It's going to prompt me for credentials kind of ahead of time in this case, um, prior to the session actually starting. And so we see a, a Linux host credential that's been set up here and I would have the ability to click OK. Again, a new tab will be populated here in the privileged remote access access console and I can begin working with this system in the context that's been afforded to me by the credential that I actually injected. So as simply as that, you know, in, in the context of sessions that are being started, you have the ability to inject those credentials from password safe. I'm not having to go out to another solution or another interface to actually facilitate the, the injection of these credentials. And again, they would be rotated at the end of the session. There's a full audit trail of everything that I've done, including uh, the reference to the fact that those credentials were injected as a part of the session log. And I have the ability to work inside of these devices, again, afforded by that injected credential. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to sales at beyondtrust.com and take a look at our website. Thanks for your time.